Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are just doing an all day cleaning video. I wanna clean, decorate some areas, and it's kind of even a two day clean with me just because I do have some footage from last night that I'm gonna go ahead and put in right after this intro. But we have lots to do, so let's go ahead and get started. I hope you all get lots of cleaning motivation, but let me go ahead, pop in the clip from last night. I am testing out a new laundry detergent, or at least a new to me laundry detergent. It's supposed to be all natural and super concentrated. And we are just going to wash our bed sheets. We want to go ahead and get some cat hair off of this and bleach them, make sure they stay nice and white. And yes, that is my remote control stuck in the sheets. It happens to everyone, right? <laughs> but I'm just gonna use only one pump of this because it is supposed to be so concentrated. And since I'm only putting my sheets in here, adding my scent beads, and then I'm showing you my bleach, but I'm not gonna put it in until five minutes into the wash because that is what the instructions on the bottle say. And then of course I want to go ahead and get this dried because we will need to make our bed tonight before we go to bed. And then I also want to go ahead and throw in a load of darks. I find that I have to do darks a lot because A, we have a lot of dark clothing and B, my husband does have a mostly dark colored uniform for work. Then I'm in my PJs. I'm going to start making our bed and move the clothes to the dryer so that they're ready to be folded the next day. Wish you could see the things I see. Don't wanna wake up if I'm dreaming because you know I can't get enough of this. All right, and now you are caught up to speed. We have some laundry in the dryer that we'll need to get folded later. However, I did check the weather and it's possibly going to rain. So I wanna go ahead and get done on the patio what I wanted to get done. If you saw, I think two videos ago for you all, I was cleaning out the patio and then um, I had a wasp problem. Then I had a spider problem. So we're going to finally finish the patio. Fingers crossed that like nothing else comes out. Like I'm like, what's next, scorpions? Ooh. But we are going to sweep again because obviously it got more dirt more dust, more debris, it's, in, it's a balcony. It happens, it's not screened in. And then I actually wanna try and DIY some pillows for out there from Dollar Tree products. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, and we have to water my plant, my singular plant. I'm not a very responsible plant owner yet. I was told I'm not allowed to have any more plants until I can keep this one alive. It's come back from the dead twice now. <laughs> but hey, I brought it back. Well, my best friend brought it back. You get the point, let's get started. <laughs> Getting started with the pillows, there's two methods you can do. You can go ahead and measure the length and then mark the middle, or you can do the second method, which I did was just fold it in half. And then I just took my scissors and cut along that folded line and then I took the two not pretty sides or the two insides and stuck them together so that I could go ahead and line them up and then hot glue the edges closed So now that I've glued all four edges and then on this fourth edge, I did leave this little hole and then that's so I can go ahead and put stuffing in here and then hot glue it closed, but we will do that later. Time for a coffee break. Okay, so I have one of the best cleaning hacks that I have heard in a while, but we're going to clean these big sliders that we have that lead from the patio to the living room. And one of the best tips I just recently heard is if you clean one side of glass vertical and then the other side of the glass horizontal, when you're looking at the glass and you see that there's still streaks, you'll know what side you need to work on because if the streaks you're still seeing are vertical, then you know you need to be on the first side. Then if you see that the streaks are horizontal, then you'll know that you need to work on the second side that you did. And I was literally mind blown. But we do have some sideways streaks out here. I actually cleaned the insides vertically and chanced the outside horizontally. But of course, the outside's gonna be dirtier, so there's a lot of streaking, so we're just gonna go over that again and try and get these nice and clean. First thing on the patio, I just wanna go ahead and sweep everything off, make sure to get all the dust and debris off, and then wipe down the table and wipe down the railing, and then we will get started on getting these windows nice and clean. It's all been a waste of time. Could somebody be with someone else 
If you can't be by yourself yeah. I got my problems Lately I've been fading out Holding out Waiting just for somebody to love And to surround me And to handle my emotions I was out waiting for something And if I close my eyes Oh yeah, and if you're getting lots of cleaning motivation, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Here's what I'm thinking. Right now, my living room feels lackluster to say the least to me, and I think it's because there's like no color in it, and it's not even the same kind of tone of color. So I feel like my couch is very cool tone, but then these pillows are all different shades of white and cream, and it's not even like cool tone white or cream. Is there such thing as a cool tone cream? Either way, I have a solution. I think I'm going to experiment and DIY. I want to incorporate the two colors that we pretty much use the most in the house, which is pink and blue. And I went with a lighter blue instead of the deeper blue. Honestly, just because I was trying to be more fun. Cause sometimes I feel like it's just like navy, white, gray, sometimes pink. So that's the plan. I'm going to read the instructions and probably do it in the washing machine because I hear that that's a lot easier. Yeah, so let's do it. First thing we want to do before dyeing is go ahead and wash the pillows. Make sure we get anything off of the surfaces that could keep the dye from sticking. And I'm just using a tiny bit of Tide and some vinegar. Vinegar is definitely going to help get anything off of the outside of the pillows. And then we are going to go take these clothes out of the dryer and start folding them while we're waiting on the other load to be done. So folding laundry for me, I don't know. It is such a mission for me for whatever reason. Sometimes I have the hardest time getting motivated. But something that's been really helping me lately is A, just making sure I stay on top of it because when it's smaller loads to wash or only one load to wash at a time I'm so much more likely to get started on it and then the other thing that really is my cure-all for folding laundry is watching a YouTube video or a TV show while I'm doing this it just really helps me I know some people like music with music I end up getting distracted and unmotivated so TV or videos really helps me like put my attention somewhere else while I'm just mindlessly folding laundry So these are the DIY project gone wrong. I feel like I have a few options. I can stuff this back into the pillow and then dye the pillow, or I'm just gonna stuff all of that into a garment bag. Maybe even break this one open, just dye the covers, and then restuff them and sew them back up or glue them back up either way. And then never wash them again. So many DIY pillows. Let me just be honest, this is the part where nothing really went right. The washing machine started to drain the dye out from itself, so the pillows never really got enough color. So what I did is I started filling up the sink, putting some dye in there and all of the same ingredients, and then I took the half washed items from the washing machine and put them in the sink to let them soak in here. And then while I'm in the kitchen, I'm just gonna go ahead and also do these dishes. Hold on, I don't want it to stop. 
Even though we fight sometimes and it feels like a war zone, I still care about us. How do you move on when everything goes wrong? I'm trying to find a way to get you out of my head. Don't know how to cope with being so broken. Girl, I can't forget about what we said. I just want to love you a little bit more. Don't just walk away from me and close the door. Baby, pull me closer now before it's over. I just want to... And now that I'm done with the dishes, I'm just going to go ahead and give my little DIY project a bit of a stir. Now it is later in the day and I have pillows that were in Chance's car and I'm taking the old pillow stuffing and using it for our new DIY pillows and that's kind of why I didn't stuff it earlier. So here I am doing that and then once I feel like these are stuffed enough, I'm going to go ahead and take some hot glue, E6000, close it up and then your pillows are pretty much all ready to go. And this is what they'll look like. And I didn't forget about my spider guy. This is Parker, named after the original spider guy. He is doing pretty good. He's got some dead leaves coming off, but he also has some new ones coming in nice and healthy. So hopefully he'll be back to normal and all healthy in no time. Now I'm going to try and dye the other pillows using the same ingredients, the same process. I'm just gonna let this sit for a couple hours and then rinse them out before bed. And I will be back tomorrow to show you what these look like. Hey guys, we are back. This is technically day three of this video. It's just gonna be a multi-day cleaning video. We were working on our DIY pillows yesterday. Long story short, I've um, had some fails, had some fails. I was doing the shag pillows from the couch and I did them with a pair of cotton socks just so I could kind of tell where it was in the dyeing process. So this is how the socks turned out. They're pretty decent blue. And then the shag pillowcases really surprised me, y'all, really did. But, so I just moved some settings around so you can kind of see, but these are like a mint green in comparison to the blue socks. It's so hard to tell on camera, but this is a blue sock and I dyed them with the same thing, but the pillow kind of came out of mint green. In comparison to this is our white pillow, you can kind of tell. It's a very light bluish green color, but I think it'll add a little bit of color. So we're gonna restuff them, close them up, and then let me show you the biggest disappointment from yesterday. <laughs> These are our pink pillows. Can't you tell they're so pink yeah they uh look exactly the same and i could kind of tell when we were dyeing them because the dye would repel off the pillows like it would be clear water all around the pillow so i don't i don't know really weird those didn't die problem for future us might just diy some pillowcases you know and this is pretty similar to the patio pillows that we made i am just stuffing these up and then i'm just going to use hot glue to close these up since these don't go outside the hot glue should be just fine for inside use here you can really tell how light the color really is it still looks green to me it might look blue to you all but it looks really green i don't think these will be permanent but for the meantime these will do just fine and then coming up soon on my channel y'all make sure you subscribe because we have cleaning home decor and apartment hunting coming very very soon to this channel so if that's what you're interested in make sure you stick around and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it please subscribe down below and if you guys want to see me more often make sure to go ahead and follow me over on my instagram i hope you all enjoyed today's video i'll see you in the next one bye guys